The TPU01 is a rubber-like material based on the elastolan grade and fully produced within BSF. It has a shore hardness of around 88A, has a high elongation at break, high rebound and great durability. With the design freedom of additive manufacturing, you can create for this flexible material different lattices. And those lattices enable the material to be tailored for soft and hard application. Meaning this material can be used in a variety of different industries, such as consumer for shoe soles or sports goods, healthcare, for example, for the O&P market, industrial, chicks and fixtures, and the automotive market, such as cushioning and seating. How do we get from a power now to a printed part? For TPU01, it's the same process as for all PBF materials. It starts with printing, and this material is printed on the HP 5200 printer. Printing for a full print shop 11 hours, cooled down and then brought to the unpacking station. Here we unpack the part out of the powder and bring it further to the post-processing step. By post-processing, we mean depowdering and if required, additional vapor smoothing, dyeing or coating. Since our material is a highly flexible material and has a high rebound, it also reacts differently to blast media than a rigid material. It gives back some energy to the blast media and therefore you need to adjust the sandblasting parameters compared to your rigid material. This is exactly the reason why we partnered up together with Dimension. Depowdering is a critical step in achieving high quality 3D printed parts. It prepares the part for subsequent post-processing steps. Common surface defects like glass haze and burn marks are known from sand or glass blasting processes. We eliminated these defects by looking at the complete setup of depowdering. This depowdering process we call polyshop cleaning. Choosing the right blasting system is crucial for effective depowdering. Our PowerShot C Classic and performance systems are specifically designed for depowdering 3D printed parts. The PowerShot C Classic is our workhorse in the market for effective depowdering, while the performance series, which you can see behind me, is developed for even higher volumes and production integration. In addition, depowdering in a hot state is something of the past now. With this setup, depowdering of unpacked and cooled down parts is no problem anymore. When you look at complex geometries, like undercuts or lattice structures, the advantages become even more visible. Our PowerFuse S transforms depowdered raw parts into smooth and sealed parts with surfaces comparable to injection molded parts. With different levels of smoothing tailored to each application, we enable part properties and applications that were not possible without this smoothing technology. We call this process vapor-fused surfacing. The vapor-fused surfacing process is geometric independent and can process complex geometries like lattices, holes and different wall thickness with ease. Adding colors to ultra-thin TPU01 parts further enhances their visual appeal. Our deep dye coloring process offers a specific color range for the gray ultra-thin TPU01 parts. This range applies for raw depowdered parts without vapor-fused surfacing. If you decide for vapor-fused surfacing, parts will turn black by this process itself. Optional black dyeing is possible. Our collaboration with BSF has paved the way for superior applications made from ultra-thin TPU01.